Hello students, today our topic is cultural studies. These are some important works and concepts related to cult cultural studies and the, these are very frequently asked in the net exam. So first one is Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies. This institution has a vital role in the development of cultural studies. It was founded in 1964 in the Bir Birmingham University, UK. This the department gave importance for the study of popular culture. Richard Hogarth first used the word cultural studies and in this institution, they are focusing more about popular culture. And the, and the elite culture is not a part of their studies. They are focusing more about the life of and preferences of common people, that is popular culture. So in this, uh, in this field of cultural studies, Comics play an important role because comics shows political and social activities in the, in the, the political and social activities ha which happens in a society in a very humorous way. Comics shows the changes in society. That's why this uh, cultural studies is based on the comics in um, <clears throat> which shows the socio-political changes in every society. Next important concept of cultural studies is um, encoding and decoding developed by Stuart Hall. Stuart Hall developed this a concept of encoding and decoding in 1973. This is about how audience are receiving, interpreting and using the media messages. Next important concept in cultural studies is the medium is the message. This is developed by Marshall McLuhan. This phrase is taken from the book Understanding Media, the Extension of Man was published in 1964. In this book, McLuhan says that media is an extension or expansion of human senses. Next important concept or concept is space theory developed by Edward Soja. This was uh, developed in the year 1989. In this uh, theory, Soja is uh, using geographical imagination based on the uh, works of Michael Foucault, Jameson and Berger. Another con an important concept is camp. This is developed by Susan Sondag. In 1964, and the works, I'm sorry, and the work used this uh, concept camp is Not Son Camp, published in the year 1964. Here, Sondag, uh, Susan is saying that taste of the people from counter culture. The, uh, the taste of the marginalized people is discussed in this book. An example, hippie culture, culture uh, and the state, uh, taste of lesbian people, etc. Next important concept is Empire. Empire is a book written by Michael Hart and Antonio Negri and published in the year 2000. This work is about the change from 
change of uh, united kingdom from modern imperialism to post modernism this is what explained in the work empire by antonio negri and michael hart this was published in 2000 <clears throat> this book empire talks about monarchy oligarchy and democracy next concept is biopolitics actually please don't mistake on this because this word biopolitics is coined by rudolf jelin but the post structuralist thinker foucault is use frequently using this concept biopolitics to describe the to describe how human life is affected or influenced by mechanisms of power this is biopolitics next is richard hayer this richard hayer uh, sorry richard dyer is a famous queer theoretician and he is a, a famous personality in films he specialized in italian cinema he wrote the most important work heavenly bodies film stars and society this is frequently asked in the net exam and another important work of richard richard diaries essays on race and culture published in 1997 another important work is political shakespeare this is written by alan senfield and jonathan dolmor this this question this was asked in the last net exam also uh, the question was who wrote the book political shakespeare this uh, this is a very important book related to cultural materialism next is cyber feminism this word coined by sadi plant in the year 1994 it is about the role of female and their identity and their work in cyberspace this is the main theme of the work cyber feminism and sedi plant is also a prominent activist in the field of queer theory next is donna haraway she wrote the work a cyborg manifesto in this one donna says that the boundaries between machine animal and humans are reducing or diminishing day by day there is, um, <clears throat> and another she is also another queer theorist donna haraway another work is another concept of uh, cult, uh, cultural uh, uh, cultural studies is hermeneutics this work uh, sorry hans george gadamer introduced this uh, word hermeneutics in his work truth and method published in the year 1960 this work laid foundation for the concept of hermeneutics next one is counter culture counter culture is is a, this is a term developed during 1960s this is against the Uh, uh, this counter culture is a culture against dominant culture this shows the arrival of a parallel culture which questions the dominant culture dominant culture means the culture of the powerful people or the majority people that is dominant culture and this and uh, during this time during 1960s there arrived another they they started coming an a parallel culture against or 
or it poses a question against the dominant viewpoints example is the culture of hip, hip, hip during that period the dominant sorry the counter culture was the culture of hippies hippie culture and now we can say that the counter culture in our society is the culture of lgbt lesbian culture next important concept is cyberpunk actually cyberpunk is a type of science fiction and with uh, this in this one uh, they are highly using artificial intelligence and high technologies this shows hibernetic implants also but we have to remember one thing that this uh, cyberpunk is completely against the concept of posthumanism this is against posthumanism next one is text the concept of text in cultural studies is not only about written language but all those things which creates culture is is called text in cultural studies for example films fashion shows the preferences of common people their uh, languages their way of thinking their uh, their preferences for literature all this comes under the context uh, comes under the context of text in cultural studies and there are two important um, critics for this cultural studies they were harold bloom and terry eagleton thank you Thank <laughs> you.